Welcome to another edition of International Soccer Break. I'm your host, Sahil, here with Ishana talking CONCACAF W Gold Cup women's match versus Mexico in the books. And let's just say that did not go the way that we were all expecting it to go. Yeah, I mean, so the one way to piss me off is to, like, cancel my volleyball. I showed up to volleyball, called, and I found out it was canceled. So I didn't get my exercise in, and specifically volleyball, even though we're talking about a soccer podcast. I love playing volleyball. I'm a dog. I need that. But then I'm like, you know what? It's fine, because I'm going to come home, and I've recorded this U.S. Gold Cup game, and I can, like, watch it in peace. I didn't check social media. Turn it on, and my mood went from bad to worse. Just like, yeah. why, 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 what is going on? Like, why are they doing this to us? I don't even know where to start, but we have to start somewhere. And I'll, I'll start with this. So, the lineup, firstly, for I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm lost here. I, what, what is, what is Kilgore doing here? Because I, yeah. I mean, I don't know. And that is honestly, that <clears throat> was my biggest issue with this game. Like, I don't know what this experimentation is about. I don't know why all I did on this podcast last episode is talk about how strong our defensive line is. And then you come in with almost an entirely new defensive line. Naomi Gurma's not playing. She doesn't play the entire game. I don't know if she's maybe hurt or there's something going on behind the scenes, but if that's not the case, this makes absolutely no sense. You have vets in when they shouldn't be, with the exception of Dunn, who did play quite well, I think. And I don't know. I don't know what was happening. It, you know, it was like the World Cup all over again. Nobody had chemistry. Everybody was playing narrow. People were bunching up. It was like ASO soccer problems in a similar way. And it seemed like like a throwback to Vladko's leadership where he didn't really know what to do tactically. He didn't know what how to play people. And it seems like they're utilizing this tournament to figure it out. But I mean, okay, sure. It's obviously different stakes. We're through and we knew that. But we're playing Mexico on our own soil. I mean, I really think that we should come out stronger. Yeah, and you know, and credit to Mexico. Mexico obviously played a very good game, but still, the the issue at hand that I have with all of this is if this was independent of the World Cup, right? If we didn't have the performance we did in the Portugal game in the World Cup, and you know, throughout the tournament, really, that they didn't really play to their best. So let's say this was a a one off incident where this Mexico game was a, a one off game they played poorly. Then I'd be like, okay, fine. But this is, like you said, this is the same thing that has continued from the World Cup. And the issue that I'm seeing is I don't think this particular lineup, the one we saw today, which includes many veterans, I don't think these veterans are going to get the job done anymore. Because we've seen that compared to the rest of the world, which is not only caught up, everyone was saying the rest of the world is caught up, the rest of the world has surpassed the U.S. women in many ways. And that's why I loved that first game against Dominican Republic with some of the young players. In this match, you know, Kilgore doesn't bring on Midge Purse until 70th minute. Corbin and, Albert. And Corbin Albert, 70th minute. And, and, and Nice Wonger doesn't even get a get a run in this match. So I, I don't know what, what exactly they're doing. I don't understand. And especially with something, I think that the one strength we have is having a solid defense. It's It's very confusing why you know, she switched that up. And then it's also very, and then, like I said before, you know, Mexico is a perfect example of a team that is not going to give us that space in the midfield. And that's exactly what happened. They did not do it. They were quick to press and credit to them. And that wasn't working. And, you know, the other thing is I, you know, Trini Ronman had a couple missed chances and I almost wonder if she should be repositioned not to be on that wing. And if, there's something I'm not sure, but there's there's just generally, you know, a lack of chemistry like we saw. And I, I, I think this is because the players themselves are getting confused. I mean, I, I don't I understand that, you know, players are expected to adapt to change and, 
you know, shakeups, but these, this has been a lot of shakeups and yeah, there yeah. seems to be no consistency. There's no, these starters have not been established. And, you know, I could imagine that Emma Hayes is not the type of coach who would do this. I feel like she's probably going to stick with her, uh, try to come in with a clear lineup and then, you know, work and adjust as things go instead of just sort of, it just f- feels like we're throwing spaghetti on the wall in the form of players <laughs> and seeing what sticks. Yeah. But the interesting thing is, I, I I think it's like you said, it's very it seems very similar to the World Cup where the lack of chemistry is the part that I'm not understanding because it's so individualistic. That's what I liked a little bit about that first game. I saw players actually, you know, passing to each other, making making runs. There was a little bit of understanding. Here it seems mm-hmm. like we pass the ball to Haran, and then plays on the left side. Like he, we were kind of constantly playing on the left side where you know Trinity Robin was. But there's an entire other side of the field. Mm-hmm. There's a whole right side of the field that you can try to exploit. And it, I, I don't know. It's it's very strange. And then she brings in Alex Morgan, and I, it, it's just it's just a strange thing. It's almost like, is this like a farewell tour for the veterans or something? Or or what is going on here? I do wonder if that was the case in this particular game. And like, you know, since if that was, which if that is the intention, I mean, this was the game to do it, I suppose in that sense. But I mean, still you're playing Mexico, big rivalry. You're playing Mexico at home. Like, I don't know. I just think we could have set a different precedent and um, yeah, I, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I wonder, but I, I do hope moving forward at least, um, you know, now that the group stage is wrapped for us, that uh, there will be some sort of consistency where, these players at least get an idea of okay, this is these this is the foundation of our lineup, and then we're gonna work around it. Yeah, I think we're all pretty convinced that Naomi Gurma has to be on the field at all times at this point in time. I mean, she was the her and Nair were the best players in the World Cup, and you know Nair had that amazing save today, um, which was. Um, you know, I think she was also pushing her team after that to try and get one there. Um, but, and yeah, like you said, I mean, Mexico, they played great, um, great formation, just, they did their tactical homework. I think, you know, I think the shots were fantastic by Mexico and I think they fully deserved the victory. So anyhow, we'll continue covering the CONCACAF W Gold Cup. The U.S. women lose dos a cero. Mexico gets to say that now <laughs> for the to them. But, uh, you know, if you're enjoying this, please subscribe to the channel. And moving forward, we'll have to see who the U.S. is playing in the next match in the in the quarterfinals. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. We'll see. Uh, well, uh, you know, I, not just, I, these games are at night, too. And, you know, in um, – you know, they're around seven in LA and it's like, great. This is, this was my Monday night. Like it's, it's really, just it's just all about me, obviously. <laughs> it's just an unfortunate uh, endeavor. Anyhow. So I'll say it reluctantly today, go USA, but there's a lot, lot of work to be done by the US women's national team. Hopefully you guys come out, hopefully you come out next game and, you know, perform far better than was this match. But I'll still say it, go USA.